tell me about money. Money has to be energy too. It's energy, definitely. Like, you know, mm -hmm. And women fight mostly to transform this energy to make it positive for them. Do you have any advice for the, for the women that are just starting the business or want to mm -hmm. start from new or something like, you know, is it difficult to change that energy mm -hmm. and to make it profitable or, or like useful for yourself? Sure, yeah. Well, we all have a money story, right? Where we grew up around whatever that is. Like, you know, have, again, these just concepts that are in, in, you know, out there in the ethers, like money doesn't grow on a tree and it's hard to make money and like only rich people, can, you know, make. So it's just like, it's really, like I said, I think a process of figuring out like, what is your money story? So write it out. Like, what was your experience growing up with money, right? How did your parents handle money? Did they talk about money? Did you think money was, you know, like, did they hand you money? Did they tell you, no, you have to work hard for money, right? So recognizing what were those key things that that were in, shared with you about money, right? My mom always like told me like, I, I don't have money. And so it was like, that was really like, I, I started to notice that later, I don't have money, but like, you know, should spend money or do whatever. And I, I recognized later on, like how I just adopted those same beliefs just be, by being around that, right? So I, I had to really examine my own beliefs about money and how much money could I, not how much money could I attain, this is the difference that was really key for me, is how much money can I energetically hold, right? I, if I say, I want a million dollars, right? Like, I wanna make a million dollars in this year. And do I have the body, the energetic capacity to actually hold a million dollars? Because I don't believe, if I don't believe I can actually earn a million dollars, then I'm and not, and it doesn't have to be like, is it gonna be hard or do I have to earn it hard? It's like, money can come to me in many different ways. Right. If it's an energetic, how do I attract money? What is abundance? Abundance is an everywhere in our life. And so start to pay attention to that. And now, if I see a penny on the ground, instead of going, oh, it's just a penny. I'm like, it's a penny. It's a sign. I'm a more abundant than I was. Right. So energetically, I'm, I'm appreciating what I have. So being in appreciation for what we already have and how abundant we already are abundant in our, in our health, abundant in our relationships, our friendships, and then more abundance will flow to you. So when you speak like frequency, the, the example that I love to use, um, because I think we can all rate, we all have a smartphone, right? We all have a smart, whatever. And we don't have hesitate to say, oh, I could pick you up and you're in, you know, you're in Germany and I could call you and I would, we would be speaking just like we are, you know, through the computer. And that seems to be totally fine. We can all get that, but it's the same way. It's an energetic of like attraction to money. So say there's, you know, like the radio station and there's a satellite out in the space somewhere. And I want, I get in my car and I want to listen to whatever station it is, but I'm not quite on the right station. You know, you get the static and the, the sound comes in. It doesn't come in like clear. So it's, are you tuned to the frequency of what you want to attract? Whether that's more money, whether that's a relationship, whether that's a beautiful home or a thriving business, right? Am I tuned to the correct frequency? Meaning do I, can I embody and like vision myself stepping into that before it's already happened? And, right like you can see like you have to like literally believe that you are a multi-millionaire before you can actually hold a million dollars you know multi-millions of dollars 